Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your current PC hard drive with your WD Black Square dual drive. Before we get started, please be aware of two things. One, that the WD Black Square dual drive requires that your PC be 9.5 millimeter hard drive compliant or your new drive will not fit. And two, this video is for those of you looking to clone your existing drive. A clean OS install is covered in a separate video. One thing I strongly recommend is if you are cloning more than 120 gigabytes of data, we highly suggest a clean installation of your operating system versus cloning in order to ensure optimal performance and minimal difficulties. So let's get started. Because PCs vary, you'll need to locate your original PC's user manual or download a new one. This will provide you with the manufacturer's recommendations for removing and replacing the installed hard drive. Be aware that some manufacturers explicitly state the voiding of any warranty for your PC if the case is opened. Please check your PC's owner manual for warranty information before opening your PC case. All hard drives are sensitive to static electricity. We recommend that you wear a grounding strap when handling hard drives. You may also touch something metal to ground yourself if an anti-static strap is not available. At this time, you may want to back up your installed hard drive to an external drive such as a WD MyBook or My Passport. This will give you two copies of your data. This will also help in the event your clone is unsuccessful. You can always attempt to restore your backup to the WD Black Square drive. One thing to note is that you may need to deauthorize some programs on your system before proceeding. We suggest checking with the software vendor for specifics. Common programs that may need deauthorization are iTunes, PC games, or Adobe Photoshop, depending on the version. Remember to write down your serial number for reference in case it's needed later. What you're seeing now is a quick reference on how to deauthorize iTunes so that we may proceed with the upgrade of your system. Once you have deauthorized the necessary applications, we can move on to the installation of your new WD Black Square dual drive. The actual physical installation of a new dual drive will take about five minutes. After your dual drive is removed from the box, place it on an anti-static bag it came in, in a clean, level, non-metallic work area. Notice in the box there is also a WD web key. Plug in the web key that came in your WD Black Square dual drive. This will take you to the software download necessary for the installation of your WD Black Square dual drive. Here you'll download both WD Black Square software and a Cronus True Image 2013 WD Edition installer. Please keep in mind we provide this free version of a Cronus True Image for your convenience. However, if you're more comfortable with another cloning software, you may use the software of your choice to clone your drive. Now first, attach your supplied SATA cable to the drive and then plug both USB connectors into your computer. It will take about 10 seconds for Windows to recognize the drive. When downloading the Acronis software, the download time will vary depending on your system compatibilities. Once done, double click on the Acronis application to run the installer. Click yes. Choose Install. When you see the legal agreement, click on Accept. Click Next. We suggest you install the recommended path shown on the screen. Click Next. Click on Proceed in the Setup Summary. You'll see True Image Loading, which will take about 10 to 15 seconds, depending on your system configuration. Successful installation is shown. Click on Start Application. After the install, you will see a True Image 2013 icon on your desktop. A Windows balloon will appear on your screen once it is recognized. Go to the Start button, go to Computer, right-click on Computer and open Manage. Click on Manage to load the computer management screen. Then click on Disk Management. The next screen will tell you that you must initialize the drive before Windows can access it be sure to retain the selected MBR format. On the background screen, you'll see a small red arrow that indicates that the drive is not initialized. So click on OK, and that red arrow is gone, indicating that the drive is initialized. Now you may close this window. Click on the WD Acronis True Image software that you previously installed. Click on Yes to execute the program. Product information will appear. Close that screen and you'll see the user interface for Acronis. 
click on Clone Disk, which will automatically initiate several processes that will require no user input. After approximately 10 to 20 seconds, the Clone Disk Wizard will appear. You'll see two choices, automatic and manual. The WD Black Squared SSD partition is 120 gigabytes. If your data is less than 120 gigabytes, go ahead and click automatic. If your data is larger than 120 gigabytes, we strongly suggest that you do a clean installation of your OS to the WD Black Squared drive versus attempting to clone. If you are an advanced user and choose to clone with more than 120 gigabytes of data, you will need to manually exclude files and folders such as photos, music, and videos in order to properly clone your original drive without filling up the WD Black Squared SSD portion of the drive. If you proceed with the manual procedure and encounter errors with your clone, we suggest doing a clean installation. This will correct most issues. Now we will proceed with the automatic feature. You'll see that before the SSD was 111.8 unallocated and now it has whatever was on your drive. Click on proceed. The system will ask you for a reboot into a DOS system that will clone the operating system and files to the new drive. It will calculate the time and then ask you to restart. Your PC will go through a restart and take you to the Acronis Operations status screen, which will show you the partitions and time remaining. You'll want to now check the shutdown computer box if not already checked. If you click on restart, you may confuse your PC since two drives are installed. Also, do not click on the cancel button. Once your computer has shut down, you can disconnect the WD Black Score dual drive. Now we are ready to remove your old hard drive and install your new WD dual drive. Before you start, be aware of the different screw lengths and sizes as you remove them, as they will vary and they must be used in their original locations when replacing the old drive with your new dual drive. I suggest you take a picture of the bottom of the case before you remove any screws. It will help if you forget what screws go where. Oh, and one more very important thing. Be sure to unplug your PC from any power outlet and if possible, remove the battery. Now let's remove the PC case. There, it's that simple. Your WD Black Squared dual drive is installed in your notebook. Now please turn on your computer. You'll see several installation confirmation screens. Now you restart to apply any changes. And what you see is your exact same files. I want to show you the drives. Here you see all the new partitions on your WD Black Squared dual drive. Now we'll execute the software that we downloaded from the WD support site with the WD web key. We downloaded this earlier and this would be on your original drive. You can hook up via USB to pull the WD Black Squared software or you can proceed to re-download the software with the USB key provided. Click yes, select your language preference and click. Now you are in the software welcome screen. You should not need to check for updates if you just downloaded the software. Click install. Click on accept after reading the legal agreement, then click next. You'll see pertinent information about your WD Black Square dual drive. Click on proceed. If you see any message of an installation issue, please go to the WD Frequently Asked Questions. Click finish. You'll see the autoplay local disk screen. Click on open folder to view files. This is the one terabyte portion of the hard drive of the WD Black Square. This is where you can copy and paste that additional data you may have had to exclude earlier by hooking up your original drive via USB if you haven't already, enabling you to migrate the rest of your data. We strongly recommend that you set up your default user libraries such as My Documents folder, Music folder, and Photo folder on the hard drive and not have them on the 120 gigabyte SSD. The SSD portion of the WD Black Squared dual drive is great for performance like running applications 
and your HDD portion is perfect for housing all your large files that you're continuously reading and writing to over a longer period of time. Here's an overview of how that is done. First, go to the bottom of the screen and open the File Explorer. Under Libraries, you'll see Documents, Music, Pictures, Video. The first thing you'll do is create a new location on the D drive, which is the hard drive, the one terabyte portion of the WD Black Squared Dual Drive. Right click on Documents, go to Properties, and left click on that. As you can see, the current file path is to the C drive, and what you want to do is create a My Documents folder on the D drive. Right now, you are not going to delete any files off the C drive in case there are any that you want to move later. What you'll do is click Include New Folder, located at the bottom. Then you'll go to the side menu and select the D drive. Right click into the white space of the window. Go to New and create a folder called Documents on the D drive. Once created, you'll see the folder at the bottom and you'll select the option to include folder. Notice that it is now added to the menu list. Select the New Documents folder and click on Set Save Location, then click on Apply. Now you'll go to the C drive and migrate those files over to the D drive. The way you do that is select the C drive, go to and double click on Users, go to your username and double click on it, then go to My Documents. Anything in this folder you'll highlight, right click and copy. Now you can select the D drive where you created the new documents folder, double click, right click, and paste. Once everything is migrated over properly, you can check this by right clicking on the folder and validating the files and folder sizes match. You can see the folders in the new D drive documents. You can go ahead and right click on the documents again, go to properties, click on properties, and remove the old location by selecting the old location here on the C drive and click on Remove. If there is a public folder, we suggest you remove it in the same manner as it is rarely used. If you do use public folders, you can set one up on the D drive. Go ahead and remove, then apply. Click on OK. Now you'll do the same process with music, pictures, and videos. Select Music, right click, Select Properties, select Include a Folder, select the D drive, right click in the white space of the folder, select Create a New Folder, name that folder Music, select Include Folder at the bottom, click on Save Location, and click on Apply. Now you'll go into the actual music folder, select all the items you want to move, copy, click on the D drive, select the folder, and then click on paste. Once completed, go back to the properties window and remove the original entries. Then click on apply. Click on OK. The same process will be used for the other user data on the C drive. The way that we have configured your operating system to work with your drive is that anytime you create new content, it will all be saved to the D drive rather than to the 120 gigabyte SSD. Please remember, do not try to uninstall the software as seen in the control panel. If you are not comfortable installing your WD Black Squared Dual Drive yourself, you may take your dual drive and PC to any qualified notebook or desktop system servicer. These technical centers will inexpensively install the drive for you. If your system clone was unsuccessful or the new WD Black Squared Dual Drive does not show up on your system, you may need to disable Secure Boot in your system if possible. Depending on the BIOS of your system, this process can vary, but here's a quick look at what the process may look like. Another thing to make sure of is that the SATA mode or operation is not set to RAID and is in AHCI mode or a non-RAID mode.
For further information, there are some tips on our knowledge base and frequently asked questions for reference. I hope you have found this video helpful and enjoy your new WD Black Square dual drive.